Hello guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a full glam makeup tutorial. I got this new Patrick Tall palette in and I just felt like, you know, trying them out, getting a little shimmery, getting a little smoky, doing my hair today, you know, just like having myself put together that one day out of the week this is that day so we are going to try out a bunch of different stuff i actually did an igtv haul with a bunch of sephora stuff that i got so you'll see a lot of that in this video if you don't follow me on instagram i highly recommend you do i do post quite a bit of little videos over there and all of that but anywho we're gonna go ahead get ourselves together and we're gonna hop on into it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have primed my eyes with a concealer and I did set them with a translucent powder. I would say use an eyeshadow primer. I personally cannot find mine right now, so I did just use concealer, but if you have oily eyelids, concealer is not usually the best thing to prime your eyelids with, but if you have to, you can use just a thin layer to even out the skin and then set it with a translucent powder and you should be good. So now we're gonna hop on into this. This is what the Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette looks like. It is so beautiful. You have these two cream shades. I just dipped my finger in there. And then you have all these other great neutral colors. So I haven't really used a cream product like this in a minute. So I'm just going to wing it. I told myself like maybe I should watch a video just to see how it should apply. We're just going to see what we can come up with and make it happen. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to pop that into my crease as a transition shade. Now, I have not done my face makeup because this is going to be a dramatic eye, more than likely. Nice and smoky, so I want to be able to clean up the edges. If we have any fallout from this palette, then, you know, it's not going to ruin our face makeup or anything like that. So, it's kind of like back to the old days when I just used to do eyeshadow first and then I would do my face makeup. That's what I prefer anyways. This palette, in my opinion, does have quite a bit of kickback, but the pigmentation is good. So, we're just going to to pop this in here and really blend it out. And I'm also angling it here in the outer V. I just wanna be sure we have a good transition shade so that all of our shadows build up really nicely and they fade to the brow effortlessly. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Actually, I'm gonna go in with this one and I'm gonna start deepening up my crease. So we're just gonna pop this right in the crease. I'm placing that right into the crease here and in my outer V as well. And I'm just doing windshield wiper motions right in that crease. And I'm very, very light-handed with this. Pigmentation's really nice. Definitely there. Angling this with my brush. Giving us a little V-shape here. This is a Morphe M433. I usually gravitate towards Morphe brushes. Like when I'm in Ulta and I need more brushes, I usually grab Morphe because they are affordable and they work really well. So a lot of the brushes I have are Morphe or Sigma or MAC. Those are pretty much the only three that I use consistently. I personally just feel like those brands last really well for me, especially Sigma. I know people don't really talk about Sigma that much anymore, but you know, Sigma was hyped up back in the day for a reason and they're still good, so don't. Don't sleep on Sigma. And MAC has some really good ones too. I'm, I'm very picky about certain MAC ones. Like it has to be specific brushes like the pencil brush or whatever. They have some awesome brushes as well. One of the things I like the most about my MAC ones is they last for a long time. Like some of mine I've had for years. Might be a little bit more pricey, but totally, totally worth it. Since we did not do our face makeup, we have a lot of room to clean this stuff up, like our lower lash line. Don't like feel like you have to be super precise, you know what I mean? You can just apply as much as you want, girl, because we're about to clean that thing up. I'm gonna go back in with the first shade I used and the first brush I used. I'm just going to go over the edges, make sure we have no harsh lines. I always tap off my brush, so sometimes I just get like da 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 crazy. Crazy. See, I can't, I'm literally talking about it and I'm telling myself in my head, like, chill. And I haven't yet, so that's where we're at. Now we're going to dive into this deep brown right here. And I'm going to focus this mainly in the outer V. I'm going to take that same brush that I used and I'm just going to pack it right in here. 
So mainly, like I said, focusing it right here in that outer V. I'm really just kind of buffing it. Then again, taking any excess out here in this outer V. Really working it in this section right there. All right, now I wanna experiment with the cream. So I'm gonna take the lighter cream of the two. I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm gonna put it right where you see a little bit more skin. So I'm gonna take that and we are just going to pop that right in here. Kinda like how I would do concealer where you kinda carve it out. I'm gonna do that right in here. I'm doing this in hopes that the shadow I put on top just like completely pops but then you have that darkness underneath so it's still super smoky you know what I mean I originally thought you could possibly use this as an eyeliner but I'm not sure texture wise eyeliner would work if you've tried it let me know because I'm not gonna try it today since I'm doing something super smoky but let me know but I like that color like even if it was just this and I kind of lightly tapped over like a translucent powder over top or something I think it would look really good but we are gonna go in with one of these shimmers okay let's go in with this one first and if we need to we can top it off with this and make it a little bit lighter so I'm gonna take that same brush really gonna tap off that excess because there is a bit of kick up right here and I'm going to Press that where I put the cream. That is a really pretty color. I love that color. It's like super deep, but very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take this very small brush. By the way, this was this is one of the MAC brushes I've had forever and I love. It's the MAC 242S. It's a great brush to really carve out your lid with concealer or whatever. I'm gonna take this little brush. This is from It Cosmetics. This is the Airbrush Precision Smudger. I also like It Cosmetics mostly for their face brushes. I don't often buy brushes like this for eyes. This is probably for your face though. You can use your brushes for anything, but I'm gonna go in here and just blend that so it's not super harsh. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the first shade we used and really go in here and lighten that up. I don't think the other eye really needs to, just mainly this eye. I'm gonna go in again with that first shade we used, go over these edges right here. It's all about like going back and forth with smoky eyes. It's like rarely ever perfect the first time around. I mean, unless you're like amazingly good. I'm always going back and forth and back and forth, trying to make sure I have it exactly how I want it. So usually I'll do like that base of eyeshadows first and then I'll go back and I'll build on top of it. And then if you're a little nervous when you're doing your eyes and you're like, whoa, I don't know how I'm gonna make this work, usually face makeup will really bring it all together. So I'm going back in with this brush and I'm just gonna go in with this darker color right here. And we're again gonna focus it in that outer V so we don't lose that. I'm gonna kind of feather that right in there. I kind of want to take one of these colors here and just really make that inner corner pop. So I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. I think I'm gonna take the brush that I was originally blending out with. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm just gonna pop that right in here. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't like that. Let's go back in and keep it nice and smoky. I think that looks pretty. And then when we start really adding our face makeup, it's all gonna come together. But as a easy smoky eye, I definitely think this is like a super easy palette to work with. You have all the colors pretty much laid out to do something more natural, something a little bit more smoky. You have some give with this palette. So I like that so far. I do have quite a bit of fallout though, especially with this shade, like dipping my brush into it. But so far, so good. I'm gonna take my makeup wipe and I'm going to follow my lower lash line up. And you wanna take your time with this because you don't wanna to go too far up. You just wanna really follow that lower lash line out. Better to have to go up a little bit more than try to bring it back down 
to match your lower lash line. Okay, we do have a new eyeliner. I would use this Patrick Ta Precision Gel Liner, but mine came kind of broke, so I'm gonna exchange it and see if I can get a new one, because it was not cheap. So we're gonna use the Natasha Denona Micro Blade Liquid Eyeliner. I swatched this in my IGTV, and it looked incredibly black, so I have a good feeling about this. Natasha Denona also has one of the best black eyeshadows I've ever used. She has like in a single, it's really, really good. So this is also a felt tip liner. I feel like it's gliding over pretty well. Not necessarily the best I've ever tried to go over shimmer eyeshadows. Like I'm looking for something that's gonna be like full pigmentation, like can glide over this and look very, very black. You definitely are gonna have to build this one up if you have shimmer. Then we are gonna follow this lower lash line up. I think it's very pigmented. It's good for going over matte eyeshadows, but over shimmers, you're gonna have to build it up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply lashes, and then we'll be back. We'll apply some face products and really bring this look together. Let's get into face. This is one of my favorite parts. And we have a lot of different face products to try today, so we're gonna try to narrow it down and get it all done. Also, if you're wondering, the Lily Lashes I have on, which is what I normally wear, to be honest with you. These are in the style Randy, and it is one of my favorite styles because they're fluffy. They are shorter in the inner corner, then they flare out. They're just really flattering even without a bunch of makeup on. So I love these. So I've already applied my one size primer. I love this primer. If you're looking for a good alternative, I have also been using the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. This is an oldie but a goodie. I currently need to exfoliate and re-self tan. I haven't had the time, you know? It's been over a week now. We're living on a prayer right now, but that's okay. We're just going to apply this, drag it down the neck, and act like nothing ever happened. This one's in the shade F10 and I'm just going to paint this on and a little bit down my neck too because I need a little bit here. And then we're going to take my favorite sponge ever, my DSMD sponge. I love these, you guys. Again, a small business. Go check her out. But I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. It's a really great foundation. I still use it. If you guys remember, this is the foundation I used to use pretty much all the time back in the day. Like, it was hard to get me away from this foundation. I still think it's a really great one. So, there's that. Now we're going to just drag this act like nothing ever happened down here. And you can build this one up too. So, I normally just take a little bit more and I'll just build it up where I need it. Which is normally my rosacea, which my skin goes through phases and it's really, honestly, this pregnancy. One day my skin will be great and then the next day I have like a rash going up my forehead and I'm like, where did you come from? And then I get this darkness. I got the darkness around my lips when I was pregnant with Mason and then it kind of went away, not completely. I could have went to like an esthetician and been like, hey, what do I do about this? Like, how can I get rid of the dark lines? But I just did it because it didn't bother me that much, but it is back better than ever. And it is like all the way down my lip now. When I was pregnant, with Mason it was just a little bit trying to navigate my skin right now during pregnancy and honestly I've just kind of rocked the darkness around my lips because I'm like there's nothing I can do about it right now and you know what it's just it is what it is you know pretty much blended this all over this definitely has a matte finish if that's something you're looking for now we're gonna go in and I'm actually going to contour first and then apply the concealer because I've tried this concealer before and it didn't really work out too well me having it sit on my skin like I normally do like normally I'll put on my concealer then my contour blend out the contour and then blend out the concealer but I think this one you need to kind of blend it out pretty much immediately so I'm gonna go in I don't know which one I want to take I have two different contour bronzer products I have the Anastasia cream bronzer in amber I have the makeup by Mario sculpting bronzer too so I think I want to start with Anastasia since it's more of like a tan color more bronzy and we'll see how this looks on my skin I'm hoping it's not too oily because when I swatched it it was pretty it was pretty pretty creamy so I just want to be sure that doesn't look too crazy on me I'm just gonna take my brush straight in this is the Morphe M449 and I'm just going to more so bronze with this but I will take it into my contour line I like take it on my cheeks I like that color for cream bronzer I try to be careful around my cheeks because I don't want to move any foundation same with my forehead, because like once I start moving product around, my redness will pop through, and then it just defeats the whole purpose of everything, you know what I mean? But so far, I really like this amber shade. Like it's very bronzy pretty, 
and it seems to be blending like really well. So I'm gonna kind of just buff this up in here. This color is definitely more of like a warmer shade for me. So definitely good to add like some color back into my skin. Cause I think F10 isn't necessarily my perfect shade in the Makeup Revolution foundation, but really it's just not bad. Once we do concealer, this will all be fixed up nicely. I'm just gonna take the butt of this sponge and just kind of go over the edges, but I'm gonna take the Makeup by Mario one. I just wanna see how this looks right in here, here, underneath, and then on my nose. Very creamy products, for sure. Blends really well. I really like Makeup by Mario stuff. I think that looks pretty good. Like, that definitely chiseled out my cheeks. Pressing and buffing at the same time. Yeah, that blends pretty dang effortlessly. It is pretty dark in the packaging, but you can for sure blend it out and it looks really nice. I'm not gonna do my forehead though. I think I have enough on my forehead. And now I'm gonna do my nose. I'm just going to really buff this out. Wow, that's blending really well. Like I'm being very light-handed with it because I tend to lose product on my nose pretty quickly or like it moves around really fast. That just blended so effortlessly. All right, I still have to do concealer. So we're gonna do that now and really clean everything up and kind of make it come together. So this is the one size Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. And this one's in the shade medium one. First I was like, oh no, did I get something too light? But I think this might be okay. I think the doe foot is a little bit stiff, but I think it'll be okay. A lot of product does come out and you get a lot of product like in the tube. So just keep that in mind very lightly. Take that down there. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit over here. Like I said, I definitely feel like you have to kind of blend this one quickly because I feel like it sets fairly fast. I'm gonna take this and we are gonna work this baby out. Alright, so we've got that all blended in and even though it's a super full coverage product like it does look really good on the skin I do have like a few breakouts and stuff happening It's definitely more of a matte finish But like once you set it with powder and everything it really all does look so nice Okay, now we're gonna set everything. I'm just gonna use my Too Faced Peach Perfect powder whenever they're having those sales on this I bought four of them because I was like, I will not be without this powder for a while. I'm just gonna set everything. Now I do have another bronzer from Dior. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna kind of apply it right on my cheeks, but it is new. This one is the Natural Bronze in shade 05 Warm Bronze. I'm just going to buff it right on my cheeks just to really bronze. This is a pretty and soft bronzer. And then I don't have a new blush, so I'm just going to go in with this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in the shade Vibrant. This is really pretty. Then I'm going to use this little Wet n Wild brush. It's been my favorite to apply blush with. Oh, I do have a new blush. I have this one by Makeup by Mario. This one's in the shade Poppy Pink. This one's definitely super duper pink, so use a light hand with it. But it's so pretty. Blend that out really quickly. Now I'm gonna go in with my new Mario highlighter. I have this highlighter in a different shade, but I wanted to get the pearl version. So this one is in the shade Pearl, and it is so pretty. These are very, very gorgeous. I'm going to put that all over my skin. I am just being kind of cautious of where I'm breaking out, so I'm focusing it more so on the back of my cheeks. And I do like to just take my blush brush and kind of go over my cheeks to blend out. Now I'm going to quickly apply my brows. I've done this so many times, so nothing too new, but I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade.
So I am gonna highlight my brow with the pearl color from that Mario highlighter. That is just so pretty. I need to try his eyeshadows. I think that's the only thing I haven't tried. These formulas are just fantastic. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Tarte eyeliner. This is good, easy on the eyes. So far, it's like super black. I used it on my upper waterline and I was like, wow, that is intense. So I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line. I mean, you could just see how black that is. Then I'm going to take a flat brush, like so. Going back into that eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna take the super deep brown, and we're gonna push that right up against that lower lash line. You're gonna wanna connect that to the V, your outer V wing liner. Okay, now I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is my MAC 219S. This is like the best pencil brush ever. Going in with that first color we used, just gonna blend the edges of this. Now I'm gonna apply Bottom Lash Mascara. The Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara is the best bottom lash mascara ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. This mascara will not do anything for your upper lashes, but for your lower. Just makes them so fluffy, never clumpy, like they're, it's perfect. I'm going to take my lip liner from Huda Beauty. So I'm gonna take the shade Pinky Brown. It's one of my favorite lip liners. It's just like, it goes with so many different lips. Then I'm going in with Melt Cosmetics in shade Ginger. All right, now we need something in the center. So I think I want to take this from Lipstick Queen in Avarice. Avarice, I don't know. It's right in the center. Okay, so I took Ladylike from Melt 2, and I'm just starting in the center and blending it out. Okay, now what I'm going to do, since I've got my makeup on, I'm going to do my hair, get myself together, and we are going to wrap up this video. All right, guys, we're officially done with the look. Hair is curled. I feel like I can't do a smoky eye like this without having something going on with my hair. I feel like I need to be completely put together to be a full look. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have to say, I am pretty impressed with a lot of the products I used today, like the cream bronzers. The eyeshadow palette's really nice, too. The one thing that I didn't love has to be the eyeliner. I just feel like the eyeliner wasn't as black, especially going over shimmer eyeshadows. That's something I definitely look for in an eyeliner. But other than that, everything worked out pretty well, even though I am having some little breakouts and like rashes going on. But I really love this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I think this is perfect for fall, perfect for a night out. If you just want to be smoky glam, perfect to go to the grocery store if that's your vibe. But I'll have all links down below for you guys if you're interested in all the makeup I used today and let me know down below what you guys would like to see next and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.